Hello and hi, this is Dr. Hadi and you are listening to the world of medical or medical world. Welcome to the biochemistry first. Um, here is my first video in English version because I am already running a channel in Urdu language. Uh, and on the demands of students, I am going to start another channel in English language to help those students who can't understand Urdu language. So, I thought I would start from biological molecule. I would give some idea about carbohydrate, protein, lipids first. But then I thought, no, I would give a, a small and precise lecture on the importance of water. Water molecule that we say life begins with water. And if you see that the content of water is very high in a living cell as compared to other biological molecules, this reflects some importance that this water has some importance because of other as compared to other molecules. What are these importances? There are a lot of topics available on, on the topic of water, but today I will give a small lecture on three topics covering the three topics the first one is the structure of the water molecule and then we will come to see the polarity in water molecule and then we will come to the hydrogen bondings and last one most important question why the density of water decreases and the other liquids increases when we decrease the temperature or when we cool that liquid so we will get the answer of these three questions. Now let's start with the structure of water molecule. A water molecule structure is written as H2O, that is oxygen bind, bonded to two hydrogen atoms. Remember that oxygen and hydrogen, this line is actually a bond and here is actually lying two electrons one electron from the hydrogen and other electron from the oxygen these two are being shared and we get a covalent bond here the two electron pairs have the tendency to go to move towards the oxygen but not towards hydrogen the two electrons will be attracted towards oxygen because hydrogen is less electronegative as compared to the oxygen which is more electronegative more electronegative now what is mean by this word electronegativity the tendency of an atom to attract electron pair towards itself is called as electronegativity. So oxygen's electronegativity is more as compared to hydrogen. What will happen? Instead of the two electron to stay in between the two atoms, these two electrons will be shifted towards slightly towards the oxygen atom from the central point, but not completely towards one atom but they will be shifted slightly towards one atom as a result what will happen to this a charge will be created on oxygen we said partial negative this sign is partial negative and hydrogen will got a partial positive charge because electron pair has been shifted away from hydrogen so here will be positive charge and towards oxygen here will be negative why we use the par word partial because electrons are partially drawn towards one atom and not completely that is why partial as a result of this as a result of this a dipole will be produced here we use another word dipole and what is that that dipole a dipole is actually a force a force that we say force is a vector and a vector has a direction so we usually write a force in the form of this line a straight line with a direction a force attractive force will be produced that will move from hydrogen towards the oxygen that line is called the 
direction of the force from hydrogen to oxygen and another line from hydrogen to oxygen will be written as this these two forces these two forces are being produced between the hydrogen and oxygen if we see these two vectors they are not in opposite direction if these two forces were in opposite direction they would cancel the effect of each other and we say we would say that the dipole is zero if a molecule has zero dipole it is called not polar but water molecule water molecule is polar because these two forces are equal in magnitude but they are not in opposite direction to cancel the effect of each other hence their dipole is not zero so dipole is not zero means that water molecule is polar so this is the first thing that why water molecule is polar this is because of this reason and one thing more that the shape of molecule the shape of molecule if we see the shape of the molecule the shape of molecule it is tetrahedral tetrahedral means four sided like this and like this right four side one two three four um, why because if we see that here in the center there is oxygen atom and one at one corner there is one hydrogen and at the other corner there is another hydrogen so two hydrogen attached with oxygen okay fine but there is a lone pair on the oxygen one and another lone pair on oxygen two lone pairs on the oxygen so these two lone pair will occupy the third and fourth corners here will be the the, that electron pair and this electron pair so as a result we got a four-sided shape which called as tetrahedral shape it is just like methane which we write as ch4 a carbon is in the center one hydrogen second hydrogen third hydrogen and fourth hydrogen if we connect these these four it will be again a tetrahedral shape but what, what is the most important thing here is that these two both are tetrahedral shape most of the students are expecting the bond angle a bond angle is an angle that is made in between the two oxygen like let's suppose it is uh, these are two hydrogen atoms and here is an angle we, we write it as 104 109 106 any any angle right so these angle that angle is called as dipole uh, that angle is called sorry not dipole that is only an angle between the two hydrogen so we will write a number that is 104.5 degree 104.5 degree is the angle between the hydrogen atom but in in ch4 that angle is not 104 but 109.5 degree student is expecting that if these two molecules are tetrahedral and then why that angle is lesser than this one means it is less than 104 the reason is that it is because of the repulsion repulsion um, if i write a diagram here let's suppose this we have two hydrogen atoms right and here is in the center there is oxygen atom usually if i move these two bonds away from each other then that angle will be increased right but in case of water molecule that bonds are brought closer together so the bond is lesser than the expected 109.5 why because here is a lone pair on the oxygen atom the lone pair of electron will pull repulsion that we call ripple they will pull these two bonds together hence the angle is less than the expected ch4 angle okay that was the first answer second answer is that uh, um, unusual properties of water and, uh, and hydrogen bonding let's suppose now the students has uh, have learned the topic that water molecule is polar and this is 
one water molecule and this is another water molecule this is partially positive hydrogen and this is partially positive hydrogen this one is partial negative okay fine partial negative partial positive partial positive a bond will a new bond will be created between the hydro partially positive hydrogen of one molecule and partial negative oxygen of another water molecule we write it like this now here is bond formed between the two water molecule here is bond and that bond is called as hydrogen bond the special property of water molecule in most cases is because of these hydrogen bonding these are the hydrogen bonds that provide specific special properties to 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 the water and of course these hydrogen bondings are also responsible for the stability of the many biological molecules like the dna like protein in my incoming lectures i would i would tell some ideas about the protein and their stability the stability of the protein in dna is because of that hydrogen bonding and that hydrogen bonding is present not in all in water in other molecules as well now the, the last question that most of the students are very very curious to find that answer is that why the density of water decreases when you decrease the temperature although most of the liquid other solvents their density increases when you decrease the temperature this controversy of water in in, in relation to other solvent is called as the unusual behavior or anomalous behavior of water so we will i would uh, say something about this now let's suppose we have uh, two liquid one is a one is one is water this is, th these are two liquids two solvents when uh, here is the density here is the density if we you decrease the temperature from 40 to 30 degrees centigrade the density will increase from 10 to 20 this is fine the more you cool it the more it will become dense and dense and dense a kind of heaviness and when you decrease from 30 to 20 the density will become more increase 25 and look at that at 1 degree centigrade the density become 40 so it is increased i'm just giving these are some supposed values that in decrease in temperature increase the density okay this happens with 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 some other liquids other than water if we come to water water will also show its properties like other liquid but till 4 degrees centigrade look at that when you decrease the temperature from 40 30 density increase just like here and if you further decrease the temperature to 15 density also increase density also increase density and also increase at 4 degrees centigrade the density become maximum it it have it is just like happen with other liquid okay now below 4 degrees centigrade if you decrease the temperature further here the the, the the arrow is now showing as downward direction means that the density is now decreasing this is most important thing to tell you why after 4 degrees centigrade when you go below 4 degrees centigrade the density start decreasing the reason behind this is the formula uh, we have to come to the formula that the formula of the density is density d is equal to as a ratio of two factors one is mass and volume and we write density is equal to mass upon volume v uh, the volume not only volume whenever you see that something is above the line and other is below the line what is the relation of the these two factors with the with the third one let's suppose if i write a is equal to b upon c remember the thing about the line always has a very friendly friendly relation 
means if you increase the this one and that would be automatically increased if you decrease this one it will also decrease so we call it friend relation okay direct proportional is the word that is used scientifically direct proportionality means if you increase one thing the other will also increase if you decrease this one it will be also decreased but now come to the thing below the line if you increase this one the thing below the line because of this that will be decreased and if you decrease this one that will be increased this is called as unfriendly relation uh, or in scientific word inverse proportion so there is inverse proportionality between the two okay so here if i increase the volume what would happen to the density of course you would say the density would decrease now in water the volume increases when the water become ice as a result of this the density is decreased and now why in ice the volume is increased come to the diagram here look at that if you just count the molecules let's suppose here is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten molecules are there and in 10 molecules they have occupied this space but here or again 10 molecules of water the water molecules are linked with one another in irregular way and the space between these molecules is very very less because here the water is in liquid form as it is in liquid state less space less arrangement less crystal like if the, that liquid water become ice it, if it become ice when you cool that temperature then the water molecule will make four hydrogen bonds a maximum of four hydrogen bonds with each other as compared to the liquid state where the, 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 the water molecule will make a three bonds maximum three hydrogen bonds look if this dot represent oxygen and these two circles represent hydrogen so this is one h2o molecule this is another h2o molecule so there are many h2o molecules just see closely carefully that one water molecule is making one hydrogen bond two three and four hydrogen bond because of this new tendency of making four hydrogen bonds during ice formation as a result of this some spaces are left while the water makes uh, water molecule makes four bonds with other molecules these empty space are responsible for the increase in the volume of the water so this space will increase the volume and remember this only happens in the ice formation one thing more during ice formation the water molecule are localized in the specific position and they would become just like a crystal is like in crystal the uh, atoms are arranged in proper spaces and you, you can study them as a three dimensional we, we, we give them a, a name of a crystal so the water molecule attain a specific shape and spaces are left because of this space the volume is increased and definitely the density is decreased so that these were the three questions answer hope you understand it if you like it have a thumb up but always keep a very good smile on your face thank you and bye bye we'll see you in the next lecture